Hey everyone, it's been a while. Um, yeah, so I have a couple friends been asking me how uh, buses work in Lost Ark. Uh, the initial the initial idea of this was, let's say you have a character or alt or even your main. You don't have enough gear, uh, money for the gear. They tend to pay higher level users to clear the dungeon for them. So here, uh, I think, well, I think it's good because like sometimes the users want to see, you know, patterns of the boss, right? So they tend to pay the bus driver to, you know, see the boss's patterns, etc. Because there are really no practice modes. Unfortunately, if you don't have any friends, you don't have enough uh, money that you grinded for better gear, so the, so the public rooms don't really accept you. Your only option to get a better gear is to, you know, pay the bus driver. And then if you beat the raid, they, it gives you enough gold for you to... Uh, get refunded for so so for korean server they you get less gold for vaulton this particular raid uh you get 2500 gold and you tech and technically the the bus price as i said 800 to a thousand gold you get left over with a 1500 ish right so every week uh you know you have alts riding buses um you're and so that you can feed into your main and then maybe you can uh, uh grow your main stronger instead of not running the raid at all so without further ado, we are uh, going against uh, Luguru, right? For the first named boss. Uh, so uh, to be in mind, uh, I mean, there are some spoilers because obviously this is a full raid. Um, I guess uh, some guys who are excited about Lasker already watched too much of these raid content. And I think it's, I guess it's good to learn some of the gimmicks. So this is an eight man raid and with a higher character, playing it by yourself is, is a challenge, right? So if you like the challenge and want to make a couple more bucks, a couple more gold, can probably try this out as well i guess i guess i can talk about like some of the mechanics as well um here as you see uh i lay down the uh, scarecrow so that i can aggro the other uh Lugaru, but you know it didn't it didn't work out in this particular run i had to fight both of them while you know just getting my ass beat <laughs> but usually uh that's why it sometimes it requires a lot of higher level so that, you know, you don't get just beat, beat down in places with, like, just straight up dying and stuff, right? So, <laughs> on HP 30, uh, Luguru does a gimmick uh, that requires 8 players. So, the, the particular gimmick, it spawns 8 orbs, uh, alternating from red and blue. Uh, you would need to eat the orbs at a alternating color like as in red blue red blue red blue etc right can't eat like more than one orb so on busing you have this particular uh, item that removes debuffs right and you're immune to debuffs for a certain amount of time so if you watch here uh i would use the esther skill that does a lot of stagger first and then i make sure i drink the potion that i'm immune to debuffs and i eat all of the orbs while spinning around and then I do enough stagger and throwing battle post, uh, battle items as well to make sure I do I pass this gimmick. And I need to do this again. And as you notice, that when you do uh, Esther gauges, I just need to wait for it. At 16, the other other Lugaro goes away. As soon now. And then Or gimmick appears as the stagger comes out. I go to the middle, use Way. That does a lot of stagger. I drink the potion. So that I don't get the debuff of, of eating multiple orbs. I use my stagger skill, throwing the battle item, and then finishing up the gimmick. So from here, I am done with the particular first part, first phase of the raid. Because from here, there are no other particular uh, gimmicks that can uh, instantly kill me. So Valton in particular, if I wanted to give you uh, like a, a simple rundown, what he does is he smashes to the wall, and then he drops like these blue orbs. And if you eat these blue orbs, you're immune to one, one hit of his, uh, like instant death attack. And you notice when whenever I eat a blue orb, I gain uh, Esther gauges, which is cool. Uh, the goal is, I need to shave off of his armor, as you see at the top, the, the times two on the armor side. He has like damage decreased. He gets he he takes decreased damage. And if you go here with uh, a bunch of uh. Uh, same level people with eight, eight men. Uh, you won't do enough damage because his defense is, is way too high. I do enough damage because I'm obviously over leveled in this raid. Uh, but the gimmick that the busters do is you make sure your Esther gauge is filled. 
and when he does a head uh, headbutt on the on the wall, he get, when he gets stunned, uh, it's a chance for it to shave sh uh, shave off of uh, his armor using destruction. And the first the first Esther, which is Cillian, he instantly takes off one uh, one of his armor because it does a, a bunch of destruction damage, as you see here. I'm waiting until he does a headbutt, and then I use Esther Cillian, and you notice his armor is going to break to one stack, so he takes more damage now. This is usually better for bus uh, uh, bus drivers to do so. In this particular instant death attack, uh, you you get uh, you get immune to it if you eat one of those orbs. So so the the real way to defeat this boss is to uh, for each player's to eat one of the blue orbs. So Valtin bussing, uh, the reason why it's hard, if you make one mistake, you can instantaneously die because because as you notice, the, the 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 stage is becoming smaller and smaller, and if you get hit and get knocked out, you instantly die. And as you see, you can see the uh, administration message here saying like there's going to be a maintenance at 6 a.m. And I just saw it, and I got super scared, and I just got you know hit once. So you just notice here, I got hit once, and then I just get jumped back twice, and then just got killed instantly, you know? Uh, this shit happens. Um, but uh, customers actually don't like uh, bus drivers dying too many times, uh, at least in the Korean community. I don't know about other things, so... Because they paid, they paid me, right? So I gotta <laughs> not troll. <laughs> and, you know, uh, there were some nice people saying like, oh, I guess you got surprised by the... Uh, uh, the menstruation message, right? And here I, f I failed twice, which is which is really funny. You notice you notice the the, the customers need to die, right? Uh, the customer need to die in the beginning, but you know some of them just is straight up AFK because you don't need to uh, move your characters anymore after this phase. So Belton charges at a different area, so my uh, my strategy kind of like got gypped. As, as I would tell here, you notice uh, one of the guys they they AFK'd, right? So Balton is supposed to choose one of us and then do a charge and the, the charge of my customer You know the Balton does another charge at a different area So I I just took my time It's got all the orbs destroyed this uh, pillar too and then as you notice here The last two orbs to get the Esther gauge at the top left And then I use Cillian to shiv off the armor Boom So this one this particular gimmick, you're supposed to have four players eat the orbs because the orbs explode. But instead, you counter Velton and then you use the hourglass to be invincible so that you don't get damaged by the orbs. There are, uh, so the Velton has um, instant death gimmicks like, uh, I think one, oh no, no, there's two more, sorry. There's, there's a stagger one and there's the uh, three counter ones, right? Uh, the bus driver needs to know all three so that you can, uh, you can pass those gimmicks. Uh, HP 30 is where you uh, see most of the gimmicks and then you just skip to the next phase of uh, regular patterns. So I, I actually don't like how the stage is like super small and then I make one mistake and just die. So I, I tend to use uh, Cillian here so that I shave off uh, HP a lot faster so that I don't, I don't see this uh, particular phase uh, fast enough. So here, this is a counter where you can't attack anymore. Uh, you can't attack him. If you attack him, he does like a, a huge whirlwind for you and just knocks out knocks out everyone in the stage. When Volta becomes 15 HP, he he, he does this uh, uh, like a last resort attack, right? Just like gets he just goes all berserk and just dodge all that. So you have to dodge all of it and then he just dies. And then you have the last phase of Bolton. This this would technically be the spoiler, but I guess most people saw this already, so I guess I, I guess it really doesn't matter. So this particular thing, you notice I did a counter on the right side. Uh, the ghost felt the ghost Falcon's doppelgangers tend to they're all counterable, right? But they do attacks that launches you backwards, and it's very dangerous. So you would need to counter them at the right time. And if you're alone, you you have an issue of let's say you don't have enough counters or like you're 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 in danger, right? You just have to be very careful uh, to not get knocked out because. That's what uh, most bus drivers uh, make mistakes on here. And if you make mistake here, you, you have to go all the way back, so it gets really, uh, gets really frustrating too, and then you, can't make, you know, keep making more mistakes. Yep, he's doing all these patterns at a, st at a uh, standardized position, and he does a grab attack every five, uh, five times of the thing. 25, uh, uh, sorry, 35, 25, as this grab attack for the 15th, uh, 15th line. And then I have six bars left. 
So notice here, I dodged, I, I, I dashed too fast before, um, and I almost got killed, which I, but I got super lucky here. There are other buses for other raids. You can technically bus every raid with a couple friends too. For example, Viacus is uh, able to be bused by three people, the normal and etc. So uh, that being said, um, if anyone is interested in looking into different sides or or maybe for Vault inside, uh, more detail on how to bus, um, I can definitely help with that as well. But I actually don't know uh, what content is actually needed for uh for you guys so not other than my friend's been uh, telling me to record some of these things so it'll be pretty helpful if you guys uh leave a comment and and um uh, just tell me like what are you guys interested in and what do you guys want to see like i can definitely help if i can't do it yeah uh, thank you for watching at this point and hope you guys are excited for the release on february thanks